Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about the schedules in Revit and actually we will talk mostly about the formatting in Revit. What is that and how you can use it and for what you should use it in Revit. You will see everything in this tutorial. If you are ready, let's get started. As you know, Revit has not the perfect tool to manage your scheduled data. Unfortunately, we can manipulate data as we can do it in Excel. Anyway, we work with what we have. So, for example, you want to create some rule for this schedule. Uh, if some number greater than 10, it could be have a specific color here. Let's say it will be the green one. Why not? So how we can do that? And I will show you how. Let's switch to the uh, our schedule. You can just double click on your schedule or you can find it uh, inside in the project browser. So I will double click on the my schedule and now I'm working with this schedule. The formatting working with the logic. So we should create some logic to colorize it. So what way is the formatting actually? Uh, actually it's here. You can find it here, formatting. Uh, also, you can go, for example, to any this folder and you will find under this tab. This is formatting, as you can see. So you can go straight away here or you can uh, just switch it from the another uh, tab and find it here. Let's go to the formatting and here is the first rule. For example, we want to colorize uh, this, uh, this row. How we can do that? Uh, I mean the call. If you want to colorize this call, uh, you should uh, choose in this fil uh, these fields, for example, order one. If you want to colorize, for example, the level one, you should, of course, uh, you should uh, ch choose the another column. And here is, uh, as you can see, learning level. And you will say why it's here the learning level, here is the level, because you can change the name of your columns. It's possible to change it. So that's why the exactly the right name of this parameter is learning level, but in our schedule, it's level, just a level. You can change the name. For example, let me, I will show you because not so everyone understand perfectly. I'm changing this uh, level to the level, I don't know, level dash one. If I will go back to the formatting, I still will see the learning, uh, learning level. So as you understand, this one, it's exactly that one. For the other case, let's say I want to change the color uh, under the order fields. So let me will change the, choose the order one. And let's go now to the formatting where we will create our logic. Our logic is under the conditional format. It's here. Let's click on that. And here is the all what we have, um, what, we, what we can manipulate in the schedule formatting. So what we can do here. We are choosing, for example, the order, so the same column, it, the same column will be our rule. And here is the test, which what the test we want to create. For example, as I said before, we want to create some between numbers. Let's say it will be between 5 and 10. And we want to change the color. Let's say it will be green one. So as you can see, here is the order uh, between 5 and 10. And um, on the middle, you can see the order. So the number from the this column. Now you just should say, okay, okay. And all the numbers between uh, two of them, it's changing. We have to manipulate with the just simple the numbers, but uh, in Revit, in the schedule, with the formatting, you can manipulate with three different data. Actually, this is uh, numbers. The second one, this is a text. And the last one is the boolean thing. So when you have the choice between yes or not. So we are now we will talk about the text. Let's say we want to create uh, here the create section. Uh, if it's create section, it should be have the blue color. Let's say how we can do that. As you can see, here is the topic, topic one, uh, the parameter. But actually, it's not topic. If you will go to the formatting, you will see the one, two, three, one, two, three. Here is the topic. Here is the summary. So actually, the same parameter. Uh, let me I will use the uh, this to uh, summary and as you can see here is on the heading it's also the topic so you can orientate it here summary topic and uh, we are going to the conditional formatting here and here I will say the clear everything and I will do again as you can see here is the summary and what we have under the test we don't have now equal we don't have now between we have only three type of the parameter non equal and not equal so 
uh, it's hardly understand what the type of the parameter uh, front of us because uh, it can be boolean or it can be uh, text one but you can see it here if the, we have the volume after we choosing for example equal to this is exactly uh, the here the exactly text parameter and let's write the some text here uh, let's add it and as you can see under the conditional we have already our form formula uh, summary equal creation section views and we have already in the some color if you, you don't just select it and choose the any color with what you like say okay say okay and say again okay and now you can see exactly if you should create the section views it will be the blue color if for example here the add view sheets we will change to the uh, section create views enter it again will be blue color so as this thing you can manipulate uh, already with the text and the last parameter what we can manipulate this is boolean parameter so let's do the same thing here is the reviewed so let's go to the formatting uh, actually as you can see we have um, pretty pretty same name uh, here the content review let me will use and as you can see here is reviewed and let me will use the conditional formatting let me will select the conditional formatting and here as you can see we have for the under the volume only two types of parameter no and yes so we should just say uh, content reviewing uh, it's equal to yes or it should be equal to not so let's say it will be equal to yes and it will be exactly the green color so if we reviewed it will be a green color here let's say okay let's say okay and as you can see here is not any color why because we don't have any uh, checkbox with the uh, boolean type yes let me will check here i will check it here and as you can see it's going to be green and one by one and it's going to be green so as this way you can easily manipulate with your schedule and changing the color and now you can see how it looks like and the last uh, thing what I can want to uh, share with you, let me say we have here, for example, the topic view and this creation uh, views and also it's have the uh, checkbox with the reviewed and we want to see uh, by two parameters, for example, the get the colors, for example, our uh, what view will be get the, um, let's say, I don't know, red color, if uh, our topic will be creation uh, section views and our reviewed will be yes. So let me will go back to the uh, formatting. And as I said, we now will, will be work with the what uh, view. So it's, I think it's location. Let me say, say, yeah, it's a location. Let's select it. And now what we're going to do, we will select now the summary. We will say equal to, and we will copy our section view here. And again, uh, it will be, it will be add like the, uh, like the parameter. And also we will add here the content review. It should be equal to the yes. And as you can see, we have now two parameters so this is end parameters it's the both parameter should be be working if one of these parameter not uh, equal it not will be working so it not will be red color and it will be red color let's say okay let's say okay and as you can see uh, from whole our uh, schedules only the one uh, only the one uh, sheets it's exactly uh, working with the our rule because uh, our creation section views also they have the yes and for example we have also the creation section views so let me will click here at the checkbox and you will see it's the uh, red color again so you can cre create as many as you uh, as you want uh, parameters like that and you can manipulate with them but uh, actually we have the one big problem you cannot create the parameters uh, for example or or you cannot create parameters for example with different color for example if it will be uh, less than five it will be for example a red color if it will be uh, more than five it will be green color so unfortunately you cannot create it in Revit uh, by formatting I mean so for, for now the tutorial is finished thank you guys for watching and see you next time